Hello there, and welcome to the Cargo Bay Mini 206 Edition. With a little bit of this or that. That's right, BC. I'm Sorry, I'm cutting you off, you BC. You just my intro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting to click this button where the little images pop up. I'm just antsy over here. Good. Hey, uh, another classic Cargo Bay intro. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we're talking about Star Wars and... Indiana Jones at the same time, VC. Well, why would we be doing that? Uh, because they share a star. They certainly do. The handsomest man of all of Hollywood, both Han Solo and Indiana Jones, Mr. Harrison. That's right, VC. So you have lined up a, uh, a selection of autograph cards here, and we're just going to talk about them because uh, people may not be aware there are Indiana Jones... Uh, Trading cards out there, some of them with signatures on them. There are some out there with signatures on them. Much fewer on the Indiana Jones front than than the Star Wars front. Going to be a, they're still rare as Han Solo, but definitely a lot more in terms of uh, autograph cards available. So we thought we'd bring you a little uh, a little this or that in the spirit of uh, the Dial of Destiny being released. Mm -hmm. uh, Harrison Ford being amazing, and uh, there's a couple factors in here. So we've got we've got some this or that's lined up for you. Now I think the first page that we've got here is, is one of the hardest this or that's that that there may ever be. Uh, we present you a stellar signature series, uh, Han Solo, and an Indiana Jones Heritage uh, autograph. Now this What's it going to be. This uh, this stellar series in particular, I can't remember which year it is, but this is one of the finest uh, stellar. Uh, yeah, they, these are great looking cards. I mean, that's a beautiful design. The other thing this card has going for it, BC, it's an on card auto. Right there on the card, signed yeah. in person by the man himself. Yeah, uh, and this this looks like uh, I'm gonna guess this is Last Crusade, Indy over here on the right. Looks like it. Yeah, I think that that thicker jacket indicates that um and it looks like harrison ford got his whole name on the sticker this time a lot of times right that, that f goes up off the sticky it, yeah you can see when he's on card that f is going straight to the midriff yeah, yeah. of on solo there uh yeah so he, he did manage to get it all uh for me I, I cannot i gotta stay true to myself i can't pass up that that stellar signature as yeah. on solo uh it's it's a for surezies for me, although it would be I just in terms of iconography. Who's more iconic? Uh, which which is the more iconic character, Han Solo or Indiana Jones? Uh, I mean, probably Indiana Jones. Like people are aware of Indiana Jones more than people are aware of Han Solo across the world. I would guess, right? I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, I feel like there's a small group of people who you're like, did you know Harrison Ford is in Star Wars? They'd be like, huh. And those same people, you'd be like, you know, Harrison Ford is Indiana Jones. And they'd be like, yeah. I could he's, be a, he's part of an ensemble in Star Wars. He is Indiana Jones. And yes. Indiana Jones, I think, is the main difference. Yeah. Um, and also, which... you know, the reason he took the time and care to sign this card sticker correctly is uh, he loves Indiana Jones. There is something to yeah. be said for having a signature on a card that, uh, you know, Harrison Ford likes Indiana Jones more than Han Solo. So yeah. uh, I I personally, BC, I'm going to get the stellar, I'm probably going to get the Star Wars autograph every time because I collect Star Wars cards. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, but anyway, the, it really, and also I don't love this card design on the right. I think it looks a little dated. Uh, the stellar signature, it's it's. It is it is a, a beautiful Classic. sig. It's hard hard to beat the on card, which I don't know that there are any Indiana Jones on card autos. Sadly. I have never seen any. Uh we're we're moving to either. one of the only other uh Harrison Ford auto cards here. And this is like basically looks like a clipping on the left. Yeah. <laughs> we have It like, looks like a cut autograph. Yeah. Like have you seen those where it's like we cut someone's old bank check and put it in a card? Yeah. Yeah, I this have. is what it looks like, kind of. I mean, it's not that, but that's the appearance that it has with how it's framed. Yeah, literally framed by some wood over here. I think this is a better looking card than the the other Anna yeah. Jones card. 
Um, and then we have one of my not favorite Stellar Signature yeah. series, but like the blue pin with the blue parallel over yeah, here looks, on this Han Solo. Looks, looks pretty looks good. good. Looks his, good. His right eyeball is a little bit, is lit more than the left eyeball. And it kind of makes <laughs> him look like he's a zombie a little bit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the, the face does have kind of a, a weird kind of a disconnected feel to it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you know what, BC? I'm going to go with the Indiana Jones autograph. <laughs> Just... Yeah, me too. <laughs> Are we? <laughs> Are we nailing content today? Are we today? making content right today? <laughs> two videos a week is hard. <laughs> hey, if you think two videos a week is easy, you try it. <laughs> Let's let's oh, let's do take two. All right, so okay, okay, uh, all right, okay. Whoop! Everyone, just forget what you just saw. Um, okay. No, you go. Say your choice again. You know what, BC? I think I'm gonna have to go with the Indiana Jones. <laughs> you are so wrong. How could you do that, bro? You are out of your mind if you think that's the right card. You gotta go with the Star Wars. Oh, okay, yeah, the Star Wars one. Yeah, that's real cool, BC. Can you not see that this? The sonograph has a wood frame around it. Oh, I must be blind because I couldn't see that. And there's also a really bad font that says Harrison Ford. Yeah, and what, what you tell me <laughs> images from Kingdom of the Crystal Skull aren't cool now? <laughs> Wait, is this a Crystal Skull autograph? I'm pretty sure that's him in Crystal Skull. Man, he, he was younger old. 15 years ago. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he sure was. He sure was. Oh. Well, VC, that was just a little bit of this or that. We nailed it. Basically, the takeaways from this video are um, we shouldn't have recorded three videos today. We should have just done two. And also, uh, you can get some Indiana Jones uh, card card autographs out there. They are significantly more expensive, I think, than... Um, and incredibly hard to find. Yeah, so there you go. I know there's also like a Steven Spielberg from one of these sets or something. Yeah, there uh, definitely is. Wild and a George stuff. Lucas. Yeah, I uh, I would love one of those George Lucas cards. While we're here, to fill a little bit more time, BC. We've had Alden Ehrenreich play a young Han Solo. We have. Would you Would you have rather gotten the young Indiana Jones movie or Solo as we got it? Um, I would have rather had a a young Indiana Jones movie. I think proven directly by the beginning of Last Crusade, uh, where yeah. River Phoenix is an awesome young Indiana Jones. What a what a great yeah. intro! An amazing sequence, this, just a great sequence. This is a uh, of course Return of the Jedi thing. I love a little mini movie at the beginning of a movie, uh, and and that's something I don't think we'll ever see again. Is here is not actually our lead opening the movie by themselves yeah. for, for thirty minutes. <laughs> Yeah, um, but would would you? Can you imagine Alden Ehrenreich as Indiana Jones? No, <laughs> no I can't really. Either. I I still can't really imagine him as Han Solo, but I made him in me. So. He did a like, good job. He did he did fine, but it's, like it's hard to do. Asking asking someone to be like, all right, go do go do Harrison Ford. <laughs> go be go be him. Oh, you want me to be the most iconic character in the history of uh, cinema? Sure. <laughs> you want me to? You want me to try to recreate someone so charismatic that they took episode four dialogue and made it like, made it sparkle on on the big screen? Yeah. No problem. <laughs> you want to totally set me up for failure and then place all the blame on me later? Fantastic. <laughs> we, we better be careful. This is going to turn into a real podcast. <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> Be sure to check out our actual <laughs> podcast feed. We are the Cargo Bay Pod, wherever you find your podcast. If you want some of our sweet, sweet insights into Star Wars, well, uh, Indiana Jones sometimes, Lord of the Rings content, we've got it all there for you. Go check it out. Like, subscribe, comment, do all the things. That's right. Thanks for being here. We'll do better next time. <laughs> Until then, bye forever. Goodbye, y'all. Oh, wait, I got to close the doors again. Where, oh, where no! they go? I'll make the noise if you need me to. Okay, ready? Shoom. <laughs> that was better than the sound. <laughs> Let's just do that from now on.